How to take a vacation as a self-employed person in three easy steps. So I've been self-employed since I was 24 and I'm 51 now, so that's most of my adult life. And for my first 10 years of self-employment, I never really took a vacation. I couldn't. If I wasn't working, then no money was coming in and the bills wouldn't get paid and I'd be screwed. So I would just have to wait until the business was more profitable. The problem was, I was the business. The business wouldn't run without me there. I knew I needed a vacation, but I couldn't. So I was always in awe of my friend Rowan. I call him the vacation king. He was always on vacation, long vacations too. The weird thing was, he was also a solo chiropractor just like me. How could he go on so many vacations? I was like, dude, tell me, how do you do it? How do you do it? He said, it's easy. Step one, take out your calendar. Step two, circle the dates of your vacation. Step three, go on your vacation. That's it. That's it? What? Really? Really? The problem is, it's nearly impossible to get your brain over the hump to make the move without a few little tricks. I know, brain tricks? This is not about mindset, it's about the cold, hard economic facts of being a self-employed person. The thing is, have you ever noticed that if you got sick for a short time, not the crushing chronic sickness, or had to leave town for a funeral or a sick family member or some other emergency, that somehow the business survived and things just kind of worked out? It always feels like, whew, that was lucky. It feels like you couldn't possibly pull it off on purpose though, like for a vacation, right? But you can, and the reason is, it's not your conscious brain that pays your bills and stuff, it's actually your subconscious brain. It's your animal survival brain. If this business is how you've been surviving, then your brain is going to make sure that you keep on surviving. The trick to vacation is that you have to trick your brain into thinking that you have to go. And here's how that works. If you don't have any money up front, then the first thing to do is book your hotel. It usually doesn't cost any money up front to make a hotel reservation, and you can usually cancel it without penalty up to three days before the trip. Once you make the hotel reservation, your brain thinks you're going on a trip. It starts to become real. Next. Keep your eyes open for good prices on a plane ticket. If prices are not good, keep looking. There are apps that can even track the prices for you and send you an alert when they go down. Once you see a great price, jump on it and buy your ticket. If it was a good price, then it's probably non-refundable and you're definitely going. Now, your brain feels like you have to go on this trip because now you have a plane ticket. And from there, everything weirdly falls into place. Your brain suddenly shifts from I can't possibly go to I have to go and also I have to keep paying my bills. If you're like me and every other self-employed person who's used this trick, then you will notice how your business gets unusually busy right before or after your trip in order to make up the difference in revenue. It seems like magic, but it's not. It's your animal survival brain doing what it needs to do to make sure that you survive this vacation. I still haven't figured out how to trick my animal brain into thinking that I have to have my quarterly taxes in order every year, but at least I've managed to get this vacation thing figured out.